So I'm very happy with the process. Um, it was difficult, but I'm glad that we managed to clear out, you know, the areas which we are focusing on and what we are looking for. And I think one of the biggest areas is really around capacities um, uh, for science and capacity building itself, especially for the African context and looking at areas that will help to transform uh, and contribute, you know, to not just knowledge uh, generation, but also knowledge transfer. Uh, that helps to address the social economic issues um, uh, that we face currently. I would say two key takeaways for me. Number one, that you, could, you know, it is possible and we have realized that we can do it to have a group of committed university leaders in Africa and in Europe that take decisive action to work together uh, to solve some of the problems of their times. Secondly, has to do with the vision behind this entire um, collaboration. And that vision really is about building the future of Africa by problem solving together in particular areas and building a whole new a generation of scientists that are going to take knowledge forward and connect that knowledge to change in society. That's very exciting for me. As I mentioned earlier, capacity building is crucial, uh, but in order to get uh, a sufficient pool of people who are able to contribute, let's say, to research, to training the next generation of scientists, you do need programs like Arise. So I think um, the idea of having focused programs which uh, really contribute on recruiting and giving opportunities to young scientists to visit uh, top laboratory spaces, also to spend time, for example, in industry where they can also you know, practice their skills um, and also programs which give time, especially to women scientists as well, you know, to focus on the research, uh, on their skills training, get their doctoral degrees, um, and to be able to contribute. That, that, those types of fellowships are important because without them then it becomes very difficult to measure the progress that we are making. I think they're crucial, uh, they're very good, but not sufficient. They're crucial because at least that gives opportunities to a lot of, you know, early career scientists, emerging, you know, uh, academics, uh, and if, in fact, if you like, knowledge change makers in the areas to contribute. So individual agency is very important. But I think what we need on top of that, and we need that desperately for Africa, is collective agency and, you know, wide-ranging institutional collaboration because scale is important. The range of need, uh, in addition to all of the unemployment, if it's about building knowledge, we have to build knowledge amongst hundreds of thousands in order to meet the kind of scale of need uh, in Africa. That requires institutional collaboration. It requires coming together uh, around particular problems to serve the larger ecosystem.